Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and you're watching part 2 in my series of videos on the top 20 apps that you must have in 2014. So let's start with app number 6 on the list, Thema. So guys, keep in mind Thema is still in beta which means there are a couple of bugs around but it offers you unparalleled awe right from the time you install it, right from the get-go. So there are tons of customized uh, preloaded themes available that you can choose from as you can see. The only disadvantage with this app is that it does have quite a steep learning curve so for you to just get everything you like uh, the exact way you want it to it is going to take a little bit of getting used to because there are a lot of settings around uh, a lot of things that you can play around with but then again that's not a very bad thing either with this app just being in beta i wouldn't really recommend you guys to use it full time but this is one app that you guys need to take note of maybe use it as an alternate launcher and hopefully in the future with more bugs and that we could start using it full time but from the time that i've spent with it what i can tell you is it does not impact your performance it does cause a few uh redraws though it does take some time and you return back to the home screen but overall performance with it running in the background doesn't really get affected and battery life isn't any different either so guys the next app on the list is called blur free this is a wallpaper app basically what it lets you do is add a gaussian blur to any picture that you have on your phone so just take any picture that you've shot at a lower resolution of 2 megapixel or lower or just quickly take a screenshot from any video that you have on uh, your phone and then you can open up the blur app first off you get to crop the picture i really don't like the fact that there isn't a resize, resize picture option over here that is a negative hopefully it gets added with future releases then you get the option to adjust the blur select the amount of blur you want hit the little check mark in the center and now you've got a wallpaper. Well, it is a very simple app. I kind of like using it from time to time. So I just thought you guys would like to know. And again, you can find links to all apps shown in this video right below the like button in the description. So guys, the next app on the list is 500 Firepaper. This app comes from the famous developer Chainfire. If you guys have rooted a Samsung Galaxy device in recent times, you'd probably have heard of Chainfire. He's the one behind CF Auto Root, Super SU and a lot more. So anyway, what this app does is it pulls in images from 500 pixels, the popular photography community. So you get a lot of options to sort it by popular upcoming editor's choice, fresh today, yesterday, this week, and categories to choose from. So you've got a lot of options here. And if you're a, if it's your work phone, make sure you don't check NSFW not safe for work. If you have the 500 pixels app installed, triple tapping would get you to 500 px. So then we've got update intervals. Uh, you can choose to display every wallpaper in black and white, brightness settings, blur settings again, over saturate, parallax effect. Uh, this doesn't really work great. Uh, and then you've got your wallpaper configuration. Over here, make sure that you check 500 Firepaper as your current wallpaper. As far as the phone is concerned, it treats it as a live wallpaper. And the 500 Firepaper app keeps refreshing your wallpapers. So right now, let's go back and see what it has in store for us. So now I've used a three finger tap and it switches wallpapers. So guys, say there is a wallpaper that you saw on your phone earlier today that you really like. You can still go back to that, go into 500 Firepaper and uh, History Browser. That gives you a history of the wallpapers used. So this is my go-to app for wallpapers. I either use this or blur all the time. So guys, the next app on the list is Llama Profiles. So basically what Llama does is it automates a lot of stuff on your phone based on the cell phone masts detected or your signal towers and depending on time. So since it doesn't use your GPS, it doesn't really consume battery. So guys, in order to show you how uh, Llama works, I've set up an example for you. So say for example, you're at home between 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. In all probability, it's not your work day. So I've got Llama set up to automate uh, changing your profile to normal so it doesn't have to be on silent, turning Bluetooth off because you're probably home, turning mobile data off and Wi-Fi on because again, you're at home, your Wi-Fi is probably working. So it's stuff like these that you can automate and you can select the profiles as in uh, what kind of what what do you need love to do what do you need normal to do and stuff like that so guys yes well something like tasker would definitely give you a lot more control over your phone it would require root access and does have a steeper learning curve so i'd recommend llama to someone who doesn't want to root their phone and or doesn't want to endure the steep learning curve that's associated with tasker
So guys, the next app on the list is AirDroid. So just download it, install it, just sign in with your account and enter the web address that's given. So right now you get a request authorization, so accept. And there you go, AirDroid is now up on your PC. With AirDroid, you can do a bunch of stuff like, say for example, read the messages that you get on your phone, reply, reply to it right from your browser. You can check out your call logs, call people back, or you can just dial a number, say for example, this is a test contact that I have. You can call them right from uh, your desktop. You can check out what apps you have on your phone. You can uninstall them from here. You can also install apps from here. You can just uh, drag and drop APK files over here. Select app, drag and drop AP APKs over here. On the clipboard, you can enter some stuff that you can paste while you're on the phone. Open up URLs, drag and drop. Uh, say, for example, if there is a picture that I want to drop, I can just drag it, drop it. It gets transferred to the phone so you can access your contacts your files in your storage again another way for you to just uh, transfer files from your phone to the PC and vice versa and check out the photos on your phone these are the pictures that we shot while we were taking a look at the blur uh, application you can also take a screenshot but this one requires root access so so AirDroid by default does not require root access uh, but for the screenshot app which actually shows you what's happening on the phone so right now let me this is me opening up apps on the phone so you can actually see what's happening on the phone so let me quickly go to gallery okay photos would do so this is the file that I just transferred this is the picture file that I just transferred over uh, I dragged and dropped over here and in case your phone is lost you can find your phone using the find phone option so let me just sign in it doesn't work great uh, if you upgrade to the premium service you can actually have AirDroid take a picture of whoever tries to unlock the phone so that's there you get quite a few features uh, with the premium uh, version and you can set up a passcode so that Anyone who tries to unlock your phone will run into this passcode. You can also remotely wipe the device. And uh, this is to choose different devices that you have AirDroid on. And another thing guys is right now if I'm connected via my Wi-Fi network. You can also use cellular data to connect to your phone. You can access it even if your phone is not connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So that's pretty much it guys. I guess we are out of time. So we'll take a look at the remaining 10 apps in the next two videos. So what do you think about the apps shown in this video? Do you like them? Do you think you could find them useful or are you already using them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. If you did like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay updated on my latest updates. And uh, once again, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.